my name is Zaria Lewis. I'm a student at Comp class of 2023. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Jackie Bender. I'm a current senior pediatric resident at the University of Minnesota in the Twin Cities. Uh, my name is Dr. Long Nguyen. I'm part of the Comp Northwest class of 2016. Hi, my name is Dr. Twaje Oymolin Albert. I was a part of the class of 2019 for Pomona. Hi everyone, my name is Omar Ashdi and I'm a current fourth year. Hello, my name is Shauna H. Dahadi and I am from Comp Northwest, class of 2018. Hi, my name is Josh Vargas. I am a Comp Northwest, class of 2023 med student. Hi, I'm Edie Waskell. I am one of the fourth years on the Pomona campus, part of Comp class of 2021. Hello, I'm Austin Client, and this is Shadow, and I'm a third-year medical student. Hi, everyone. My name is Jan. I'm a rising fourth-year medical student. Hi, I'm Jenny Fody. I am from Comp Northwest, class of 2015, the inaugural class. Congratulations to all of you. Hands down, because... It was like being part of a family. When I walked through those doors on interview day, I knew there was something special and something better about this school than any of the others. And it was true the whole time I was there. Uh, from the dean to everyone in between, everyone cares about you and wants you to succeed and is there with you every step of the way. And when I went to preview day at Comp, I learned that Comp is very responsive to student feedback. And what I mean by that is uh, Comp employs various evaluations and host town halls for students to give feedback and responds accordingly and, and typically pretty quickly. Um, the second I walked in on interview day, I felt like I could be really comfortable in this building. Um, and medical school has a lot of uncomfortable times, um, stressful times, hard times, um, and I knew I needed to be in an environment where I felt like myself and I felt like I was surrounded by people who cared about me. And that's exactly what I got every single day of medical school. Because of the family, oriented um, atmosphere there. Everyone knew everyone and that's exactly what I was excited to uh, get to know all of my um, teachers, mentors, friends, um, and people who I would eventually call family as well. Because I knew that I'd be getting my educational experience at an institution that was vested in serving the surrounding community. I also knew that I'd be getting my didactic experience from professors that were passionate about training the next generation of physicians. Seems kind of a silly thing, but they didn't require uniforms because, or like a dress code, because other medical schools, they required you to be in business clothes at all times. And that just seemed like a lot to me. I am from Southern California, from the Inland Empire. I can be close to my family. I understand the community base that surrounds Pomona. And not only is that comfortable for me, but it's an opportunity for me to serve the people that I have known growing up and the people that I have learned to want to serve through medicine. The atmosphere is very warm and friendly. I really appreciated the relationship that the staff had with students, and it's a very positive one. That's going to be something that you're going to appreciate during this medical school journey. <laughs> I feel that my peers and the staff, we all have each other's back. And that at the end of the day, you're not going through this alone. And it's not a competition. Everyone's there to help build you up. It's getting my dog's shadow. He has been a huge blessing in my life. Going out on hikes with my classmates. And it is so important for you to get outside and get fresh air and exercise and do something besides studying with these people that you are spending, you know, the majority of your life with when you're in medical school. There's going to be so many different paces out there. There's going to be a lot of information coming at you. It's not like undergrad. If you're coming from a job, you've taken some time off. It's just a totally different pace than what you might be used to. That's okay. Lean into others for um, support, but don't compare yourself to others and let that stress you out. Uh, to find that balance, to find the balance between your family, your friends, but also studying, all of which are important, equally important. 
med school is really hard and I will never tell you otherwise. It's It's been probably like one of the most challenging experiences of my life, like as a whole. Um, life still happens, you know, people still pass away in your life. Uh, hardships are still there outside of school. Uh, there's still people you have to take care of, including yourself. So I would just say if you can show yourself some grace and be patient and kind yourself as you are with everyone else in your life, I think that will help you go far. And this is, uh, of course, coming from a psychiatrist, is to make sure to maintain your wellness and your mental health. Um, alongside your academic, uh, your academic obligations that you'll have, it will be important for you to continue uh, uh, nurturing uh, your physical and your mental health. Um, some of the ways that I did that is um, myself and my spouse, we love to go hiking. First, enjoy every single second. It's gonna seem like a lot at times, it's gonna seem overwhelming, but just enjoy it. It's a really special and fun time. And then second thing would be, Take a look back once probably every three months and give yourself credit for how far you've come. The journey is hard and it's long and sometimes it seems like there's no progress, but I promise you, you will make huge strides in a short amount of time. I'm the president of White Culture Black Lives at the Western New Pomona chapter. You know, really heartwarming for me to have the president and the provost and senior leadership uh, create this platform for white culture black lives to express our ass. They include anti-racism curriculum being implemented across Western U at all nine colleges. Uh, given that Western U graduates a thousand students every year, uh, Western U has a huge role to play when it comes to eliminating implicit bias from the minds of healthcare providers. Admissions, we've requested that Western U be intentional about creating a student body that reflects the racial demographic breakdown of the nation. My advice in dealing with the COVID situation is to be flexible. Um, every single day there's new medicine coming out, there's new topics, new thoughts about what COVID is doing, and so just make sure that you're able to keep up with it, learn from it, um, but also be able to admit that there are things that we as doctors don't know. So be flexible um, and be, be great. I challenge you to become the most culturally competent physicians you can be. And I think what that means now more than ever is you figure out your own implicit biases, you check your, prejud your prejudices, you check your privilege, and you learn from your mistakes. And I think that's the only thing you can do at this point. As you all know, we are in the midst of a global pandemic with COVID-19. You are called on by diverse populations to be an advocate and a healer. As you take your Hippocratic oath today, remember that even in unprecedented times, you are a physician. You have to be flexible. Be flexible. Know that sometimes people don't get it right the first time and they are there to help you and to help you succeed and it will be okay. And then also give yourself some grace. It's a hard time. It's a hard time to go to school. It's a hard time to be a healthcare worker and that's okay. You can have those feelings. So give yourself some grace and move forward. No matter what we're in right now in the state of the country, you made the right choice because you want to be here to help other people. And this is an incredible time to do it. Even though things may be virtual, even though you may not be able to see your classmates as much in person, please still make those connections. Please still reach out for support. Having a sense of community and forming these friendships during med school is what's going to help you get through it, especially the first two years. I can't wait to meet all of you in the spring. I hope you have a great fall semester and welcome to the Western U family. Um, I'm so excited for you guys. Um, welcome aboard and I'm so happy to have you a part of the Western U family. Thanks guys. Welcome to the Western U family. Welcome to the Western U family. Welcome to the Western U family. Welcome to the Western U family.
Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please take your seats and turn on your camera. We will begin our ceremony in two minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2020 Virtual White Coat Ceremony for the College of Osteopathic Medicine of the Pacific and Comp Northwest. I am your Master of Ceremonies, Dr. Gerald Thrush, College Marshal and Associate Dean of Academic Affairs for Comp and Comp Northwest. Ladies and gentlemen, we present our national anthem sung by Comp and Comp Northwest alumni, students, and employees. Oh, say does that start 
Please welcome pastor at New Hope Christian Fellowship and assistant dean for student affairs for the College of Dental Medicine, Sean Rowan, to lead us in today's invocation. Let us pray. To the great creator, sovereign leader, God, son, spirit, and architect of the universe, we give thanks and humbly acknowledge your presence. Thank you for the class of 2024 and for the families and supporters who helped them reach this point in their individual journeys. This day carries a special significance as they don their white coats and assume professional roles and responsibilities. This week marks the start of a new chapter, the fulfillment of hope, faith, and answered prayers. We humbly ask your blessing on this class and the new academic year. May we begin this new year with optimism, hope, and expectation. Today, we celebrate the hard work of each student who labored to get here. We understand the labor was not easy and sacrifices were made along the way. Thank you for making this day a reality. Thank you for the resilience and strength each student has demonstrated as each student seeks knowledge and understanding, may they do so with an open mind and eagerness to learn. We pray you purify their intentions and grant them the ability to approach each day with gratitude, humility, confidence, and determination. Together, we are all embarking on a new journey and we pray for clear direction. Please continue to illuminate our path and guide our steps. We pray your blessings upon this journey and thank you for the adventures and discoveries that lie ahead. We thank you for this new year, new opportunity and new beginning, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present a special video message from the president of Western University of Health Sciences, Dr. Daniel R. Wilson. Good day, Western U matriculants. Congratulations on being accepted to join our wonderful institution. You join the largest graduate health sciences university in America with nine colleges and a unique interprofessional way of caring with a compassionate healing touch. Today your journey begins. The white coat ceremony is a rite of passage for health science students. It marks the acceptance of your student professional oaths. It signifies your entrance into the health sciences as a leader committed to ethical practice. And above all else, first, do no harm. This ceremony is also an important part of your journey to become a health professional as you are cloaked with your white coat in the presence of family and friends, other students, faculty and staff. Appreciate this very special moment. You will look back on this day from time to time with nostalgia, which may renew you at points throughout your career. Today, you begin to build awareness of your opportunities and responsibilities as healers. Today, you embrace Western U as a student and take on the Western U ethos. That is built on our foundation in humanistic science. You will embody humanism in everything you do through caring, respect, empathy, trust, and inclusion. You will sustain a pioneering culture of innovation, courage, and passion. And lastly, you will strive for excellence in all that you do. Stay focused on humanism, 
to teach, to heal together. Enjoy this day and know that all of us here at Western U are able to help you succeed. And I wish you every success. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Vice President, Western New Oregon, Dean of the College of Osteopathic Medicine of the Pacific and Comp Northwest, and graduate of the class of 1992, Dr. Paula M. Crone. Good morning and welcome. Thank you, President Wilson. A special welcome to our Board of Trustees, our Provost, Dr. Barron, Provost Emeritus, Dr. Googlechuck. University Senior Vice Presidents, Dr. Gidry, Dr. Abraham, Dr. Agarwal, Dr. Boland, Dr. Houston, Mr. Shaw, and to all of our faculty, staff, and students. And a very special welcome to Harriet Pumerantz, one of the founders of Western U, and Dr. Ethan Allen, another of our giants. They never miss a ceremony or an opportunity to support our students. It is a pleasure to welcome all of you to our Comp and Comp Northwest White Coat Ceremony. I'm especially honored to be here today to welcome our class of 2024. Today marks a milestone for our students. We are here to celebrate these future physicians as they put on their first medical school white coat and take the osteopathic pledge of commitment. The white coat ceremony is a rite of passage, signifying the importance of the life's work our students are about to embrace. The Western U Comp and Comp Northwest faculty, staff, and a much appreciated supporters and advancement board members are proud to be present today to bear witness as the class of 2024 celebrates this milestone on their path to becoming a physician. I especially wish to welcome their proud parents, significant others, their families, and their friends. It is because of your support, sacrifice, and your love that your student is here today. I wish to thank all of our supporters those have helped to lay a foundation of education and excellence that we proudly stand upon at Western U. My heartfelt thank you to all of the unsung heroes in our audience who tirelessly helped to ensure our students' success and helped make Comp and Comp Northwest the very special place that it has become for our students, faculty, and staff, and our surrounding communities. I want to take a moment to recognize and thank our sponsors, the Osteopathic Physicians and Surgeons of Oregon, for providing our students their first white coat, represented today by Mr. David Walls, Executive Director. And our faculty and staff, the team that makes all things possible. This dedicated team is here today because of our students and their future patients. What I've witnessed them do since the pandemic began makes me even prouder of this fine team. We recognize that medical education and healthcare delivery forever changed in March and it did so almost overnight. It is not only a new era for medical education, but one filled with tremendous expectations and much need. We know that this next generation of physician, our students, will help to lead and to transform healthcare. And we expect them to be able to do so while still maintaining their compassion, their empathy, and their resilience. Students, this is not the year you had planned. It isn't the year we were originally planning for either but it is still the right time to be a medical student. More so than ever, your generation will be instrumental in shaping the future of medicine. More so than ever, your future patients and your communities are gonna need you. You were chosen with great care and with a sincere belief that we would welcome you into our profession in the future and entrust our lives to your hands in later years. Students, today, you officially begin your journey to becoming an osteopathic physician. Let me tell you a little bit about our students. They come to us from all corners of this country and from around the world. But a large percentage of you are from California for the Pomona campus and from the Northwest for our Oregon campus. Most of you were science majors. Many of you did research. A common theme threading through both campuses is the love of the outdoors, travel, exercise, cooking, dance, and music. Some of you are coming to medical school with significant others, some with kids and extended family. Most of you are from urban areas, but some come from rural farming communities, a few raised on ranches. Some are musicians with instruments from piano to ukulele. 
You are rock climbers and rafters, one a DJ and another a stand-up comic. One of you is a unicyclist. You have diverse backgrounds, varied interests, but you all share passion for science and medicine. You were selected thoughtfully and carefully. You represent the future of medicine. If you've not gotten the message from all of us yet in the last two weeks, we have really high hopes and high expectations for you. And all of you give us hope for our futures. But we don't have any higher expectations than those expectations of your future patients. For their sakes, take your new role as a medical student seriously and appreciate all that it entails. With the symbolism of your white coat, your newly purchased stethoscope, and your digital doctor bag, you're about to begin on a career path unlike any other. You have chosen a life of dedication and one of service. You will take a pledge of commitment today and the osteopathic oath in four years. In exchange, you are accorded a special place in our society. Use this privilege carefully, respectfully, and wisely. Use it to be healers, not just doctors. Use it to be leaders in your community and champions of your patients. With your medical education comes great responsibility. Your patients will be putting their trust and their lives in your hands. This responsibility must be held sacred. As your Dean, I pass on to you my Dean's Challenge. And in four very short years when you graduate, it will become the Dean's Charge to you. Today, I challenge you. I challenge you to work hard to learn all that you can, although it will never seem enough. I challenge you to be courageous and to learn to practice medicine with purpose, passion, and skill, to use your head, hands, and your heart to listen and to care. I challenge you to always strive for excellence and to keep your standards set at the highest levels. I challenge you to not only stand on the shoulders of the giants that came before you, but become that giant yourself, the person whose shoulders others will get to stand upon. I challenge you to be extraordinary, to be exceptional, and to settle for nothing less. And I challenge each and every one of you to always remember, at the end of every action, every thought, every deed, there is a patient, your patient. Never forget that. Your osteopathic medical education will serve you well. Welcome to Western University of Health Sciences, Comp and Comp Northwest, and welcome to the osteopathic family and to medical school. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker, Dr. Rob Richardson. If our profession has an example of an unsung hero, Dr. Richardson is it. For his entire career, he has quietly and behind the scenes worked tirelessly to better the osteopathic profession and to take care of his patients. His path to medicine included being an EMT, graduating from Willamette University, going on to become a physician assistant, and then finding his way to comp and his future as an osteopathic physician. He currently serves as a proud member of the Comp Northwest faculty, following over 30 years of service to his patients and his community in his family practice. He has served uncounted leadership roles during his career, including Chief of Staff of Eastmoreland Hospital, Chairman of the Family Medicine Department of Eastmoreland Hospital, Board of Trustees of Multnomah County Medical Society, President of the Oregon Chapter of the American College of Osteopathic Physicians, President of the Osteopathic Physicians and Surgeons of Oregon, President of the Northwest Osteopathic Foundation, Board Chair, Family Care Health Plans, Board Member, Hetherington Foundation, and Chair of the Gifts Committee. He has been the DO, the DO of the Year for OPSO, awarded the J. Scott Hetherington Lifetime Achievement Award for the Northwest Osteopathic Foundation, and the ACOFP Master Preceptor Award. In March, he stepped into the fray when he stood in the breach to provide direct COVID-19 care to the patients at the Oregon VA home. In doing so, he and his team were responsible for saving lives and helping to establish the initial patient care pro protocols for treatment while selfishly putting their own at risk. Regardless of the hat he wears, he is always a passionate advocate for our students and our profession. Please join me in giving Dr. Richardson a very well-deserved warm welcome. Dr. Richardson. Thank you. President Wilson, Provost Barron, Dean Crone, members of the Western University Board, class of 2024, 
family supporters, and distinguished guests. Thank you for asking me to speak at this virtual white coat ceremony for COMP and COMP Northwest. Class of 2024, you will be the first medical students to start your medical education virtually during a global pandemic. This will be a far different experience than when I sat in a folding chair for my convocation at a blocked off street in front of a converted J.C. Penney building in Pomona in early August of 1982. The white coat ceremony did not exist back in 1982. It was started by Dr. Arnold P. Gold at Columbia University College of Physicians and Surgeons in 1993 to convey the acceptance of students of the obligations of the profession they were entering. Having the opportunity to become an osteopathic physician is more than achieving a goal. It is accepting a responsibility. The journey you start today is not a passage to be taken lightly. It's not training for a job or a vocation that you do nine to five, Monday to Friday, unless it's a three day holiday. By placing on your white coat today, you are taking an oath that should be as pressing as the oath you took to honor and cherish your spouse or partner, as fearful as pledging to support and raise your children in ever changing times, and as deep as taking the oath to defend and protect the Constitution if you were in the military. In the words of Sir William Osler, the practice of medicine is an art, not a trade, a calling, not a business, a calling in which your heart will be ex exercised equally with your head. Starting your journey during this pandemic reminds us that as an osteopathic physician, we choose to run towards the fire as others seek ways to escape to safety. On April 15, 2013, former AOA President Martin Levine and a group of his students were staffing an aid tent near the finish line of the Boston Marathon. They planned to tend to elite and not so elite athletes who would be dehydrated or suffering other minor injuries from completing the 26 miles of running. They were not expecting to hear and feel two blasts that ripped into the crowd of bystanders cheering the runners across the finish line. As others ran to escape the carnage, Dr. Levine and his students ran towards the chaos, applying belts and straps as tourniquets, starting their IVs for fluid resuscitation instead of rehydration. They performed triaging on site to these victims with their severed and mangled extremities prior to them being transported to waiting trauma centers by EMS. By running towards the fire when your patients need you, this means utilizing the best tools to keep you as safe as possible. Like a fireman, you must have the physical and mental skills to utilize personal protection available to keep you safe. Those of you who were in the military would not have thought of rushing into harm's way without availing yourself with the maximum protective gear possible. You will not accomplish anything for yourself, your family, your colleagues, or your patients if you remove yourself from the battle by foolishly rushing in and yourself becoming a victim. As an osteopathic medical student, you will have available the skills and knowledge needed to address whatever challenges you in the future. The 1918 to 1920 influenza pandemic resulted in the premature deaths of 50 million people worldwide. Allopathic medicine at the time was still using techniques of bleeding and cathartics in treating these ill patients. Hospital fatality rates range from 30% nationwide to 40% or more at the large teaching institutions of Boston and New York. Yet in rural Missouri and other osteopathic medical centers, DOs trained under the tenets of Dr. Still to use principles like rib raising and lymphatic pumps performed at the bedside had a fatality rate of less than 10%. As Dr. Crone said, my life took a major turn this year on March 11, 2020. On that date, we received positive COVID-19 swabs back on two of the 151 veterans and their, or their spouses at the Oregon Veterans Home in here in Lebanon. Within four weeks, we had 21 confirmed cases. Because the medical director was exposed and then came down with COVID, I inherited the primary management of COVID at the facility. 
Needless to say, there were no textbook guidelines to follow. Using basics taught to me by Dr. Alice Oglesby in microbiology at COMP, we took steps to protect the staff and limit transmission between residents. I sent my COMP Northwest students scurrying it into the literature about preliminary reports on this drug hydroxychloroquine and any other potential treatments. I contacted Dr. Fuchs and other COMP basic scientists and even Dr. Wilson himself to evaluate the risk and benefits of these novel uses of old medicines. Limiting its use to force line medication for the most serious cases and avoiding its use in the most severe heart patients, we successfully used hydroxychloroquine in our uh, four of our initial patients. We had great success there and initially. Later, we used it in the infection in an earlier portion of the disease, and we did not achieve as many positive outcomes but we never saw cardiac complications. Through our time, we never forgot the osteopathic principles of maximizing structure and function to facilitate the body's ability to heal itself. My medical education was imprinted by the mentorship of my teachers like Viola Freiman Dio, Earl Gabriel Dio, and Ethan Allen Dio in Pomona, later by Drs. Floyd Henry Dio, J. Scott Hetherington Dio, and Arthur Rott Dio in my later years in Oregon. It was on their shoulders that I climbed to see the heights that I could take during the health of my patients. During your next four years at COMP, you will also be influenced by the greatest teachers in osteopathic medicine. Expose yourself not just to their knowledge, but more importantly to their desire to share their passion for the osteopathic profession and for the health of their patients and the community. There is nothing important as the strength of your osteopathic community. My osteopathic community includes my family, my colleagues, my patients, and my neighbors. As a DO, you will be a leader in your own osteopathic community. Let me end with a couple quotes from prominent physicians in medical education. Again, Sir William Osler. The good physician treats the disease. The great physician treats the patient who has the disease. And more importantly, Andrew Taylor Steele, MDDO, we look at the body and health as meaning perfection and harmony, not in one part, but in the whole. Wear this white coat proudly, except during COVID when it might spread the virus, but always remember that it demands from you your energy, your compassion, your knowledge, and your integrity. Like any other thing that is worthwhile, it comes with its own demands. Embrace it and the obligations that it brings. Enjoy the ride. It is well worth an extra effort. And one last thing, in the words of Sergeant Phil Esterhouse from the TV classic Hill Street Blues, let's be careful out there. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome Dr. Raj Kampal, Chair of Comp and Comp Northwest Faculty Assembly for special recognition of some of our attendees. Good morning, Dean Crohn, faculty, administration, staff, students, and distinguished guests. It's an honor and a distinct privilege for me to recognize four of our distinguished colleagues. This year, Dean Crohn has started a new and special recognition award named as Standing in the Breach Award. The recipient of this award embodies service, compassion, and humanism. Ladies and gentlemen, the recipient for this award is Dr. Rob Richardson. In her introduction of Dr. Richardson, Dean Crohn summarized his career, accomplishments, and service. I would like to restate some of his attributes. During the continuing COVID-19 pandemic, when most people were concerned about their personal safety and well-being, Dr. Richardson was focused on serving others. He has consistently gone above and beyond the call of duty. With this award, Dr. Richardson, we salute your exemplary service, 
your unparalleled dedication, and your tireless efforts in protecting the veterans who protected us. We are honored to have a colleague like you among us. You are a role model for all of us. Thank you. I'd like to recognize another colleague with Dean's Award for Excellence in Teaching. This colleague is being recognized for unique teaching philosophy, curricular innovations, dedication to teaching, concern for students learning and promoting the college mission of producing healthcare professionals in the humanistic tradition. The recipient for this award is Dr. Adriana Pollock Lazaro from the Department of Family Medicine. Dr. Pollock Lazaro has taught CMNR and ECM curriculum and has contributed significantly to Pomona diagnosis in depth sessions, video reviews of patient encounters, multi college endocrine workshop mock hospital rounds, and virtual patient encounters. These activities represent innovation, attention to details, collaboration, and foresightedness by a team of educators. Dr. Paula Lazaro has been a constant scholar and has made presentations in educational research forums. She sets high standards for her students and enforces those standards firmly, but in a gentle manner. Dr. Pollock Lazaro, we are honored to present you the Dean's Award for Excellence in Teaching, and we wish to thank you for your service. Now, I would like to recognize another colleague with Dean's Award for Excellence in Research. This recognition is being awarded for a successful research program sustained over a period of time, publications of high impact and high impact research articles and continued funding. The recipient for this award is Dr. Zoning B of the Department of Basic Medical Sciences. Dr. B is Dalzit and Elaine Sarkaria Endowed Professor of Neuroscience. She has published over 80 research articles, served as reviewer for 16 journals, and has been a grant reviewer for numerous review panels and agencies. She has mentored students, postdocs, technicians, and junior faculty in her laboratory. She has successfully completed 14 funded grants throughout her career and has received over 3 million grant, uh, over 3 million in grant funding during the past decade. Her research in the field of neurodegeneration and synaptic plasticity is highly regarded by eminent researchers in the field. In addition, in addition to research, Dr. B has been an excellent educator for our students. With this award, Dr. B, we celebrate your contributions to science and Western U research enterprise. And we wish to thank you for facilitating the educational pursuits of calm students. Finally, I'd like to recognize our colleague with Dean's Award for Excellence in Service. This award is being presented for commendable service rendered to calm Western U and the healthcare profession. The recipient for this award is Dr. Ed Barnes from the Department of Internal Medicine and the Office of Academic Innovation. 
Dr. Barnes is board certified in internal medicine and neurology and hypertension. Before joining CALM in 2010, he was in US, he was a major in US Army. He has served in college, university, and national committees. Dr. Barnes has contributed to various facets of CALM and Western U, starting from curriculum committee, IMET team, LC3 curriculum, student research committee, and learning management systems search committee. At university level, he has served on innovation team, WASH steering committee, educational technology team, SHPEP planning committee, and SPG. He also serves as comp liaison to several university administrative centers and programs. As part of academic innovation, Dr. Barnes has developed longitudinal tracks, met at innovation lab, STEM programs for kids, iSquad and Calm Connect. In addition to his participation in a variety of service and leadership positions, Dr. Barnes is a gifted teacher and educator. Dr. Barnes, this award is a recognition of your contribution to come and your influence in shaping the education of our students. We thank you for that. Thank you all. Please welcome Vice Dean for the College of Osteopathic Medicine of the Pacific, graduate of the comp class of 1984, Dr. David Conant. Dean Crone, fellow faculty and staff, distinguished guests, family members, and class of 2024. Welcome to the White Coat Ceremony at the Western University of Health Sciences College of Osteopathic Medicine of the Pacific. I want to congratulate each of you on arriving at this milestone in your career. Each of you has spent many years in preparation for this day. As each of you don your white coat today, your journey in medicine will begin. Gone are the days that the first two years of medicine is spent solely in the classroom. You will have opportunities afforded to you early in your medical school experience with bedside patient care. The white coat ceremony is a rite of passage welcoming you as a new medical student into the medical profession. As medical students, you are bound by the same professional commitments that bind all physicians. This ceremony will join the symbol of the white coat with the virtues of altruism, responsibility, duty, honor, respect, and compassion. The issue of the white coat is a declaration of commitment when students accept the obligations of our profession that begins at the beginning of medical school not at the end. The white coat as a symbol of our profession reminds physicians of their professional duties to lead their lives and practice their art with honor. The donning of the white coat is a central tradition that originated in scientific laboratories and it was adopted as the standard of dress by physicians in the late 19th century as physicians sought to incorporate scientific principles in the practice of medicine. The white coat, of course, has a practical purpose in that it is a repository for your reference material and the tools of the trade to include your iPads, stethoscope, otoscope, pens, and paper. However, the most important part of the white coat is it identifies you as part of a comprehensive medical team. The length of your coat identifies you as the newest member of the team, but I assure you the patient you encounter will look to you for your thoughtful advice and counsel as any member on the team to include your attending physician. Our curriculum at COMP is exciting, and I have no doubt that each of you will thrive in it. You will be well prepared for every challenge along the way. 
I look forward to working with each of you as you progress through medical school. And I look forward to working with you as a colleague in the near future. Congratulations again, class of 2024, and welcome to the Western U family. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the students of the DO class of 2024 for the College of Osteopathic Medicine of the Pacific and Comp Northwest. Daniel Afar, Los Angeles, California. Daniel Afar, Armin Agazarian, Glendale, California. Shalini Agarwal, Palos Verdes, California. Sahar Kahavan, Shadow Hills, California. Nena Aleke, Wari, Nigeria. Abdul Al Qasir, West Hills, California. Rita Alcola, San Diego, California. Ijla Alsea, Sterling Heights, Michigan. Omid Ameri, Mission Viejo, California. Arman Amin, Granada Hills, California. Umer Unsari, Rancho Cucamonga, California. Amna Asif, Irvine, California. Prempa Utwal, Camarillo, California. Pearl Auden, Santa Ana, California. Ruthvik Avari, Bettendorf, Iowa. Caitlin Bachand, San Diego, California. Sasan Ba Chachi, San Bernardino, California. Eric Bajwa, Marietta, California. Mira Bansul, Phoenix, Arizona. Justine Barrett, Rancho Cucamonga, California. Tyler Beal, Eastvale, California. Indudeep Bedi, Haryana, India. Jacob Berg, Vancouver, Washington. Rebecca Bernal, Winchester, California. Jonathan Bentoncourt, Walnut Creek, California. Nathaniel Bago, Eugene, Oregon.
Daniel Bishop, Santa Cruz, California. Forest Bliss, Littleton, Colorado. Ryan Bohanan, Ontario, California. Bijan Bonakdar, El Dorado Hills, California. Victor Bonavida, Agora Hills, California. Laura Boreen, Flagstaff, Arizona. Benjamin Buhalski, Beaverton, Oregon. Antram Bowie, Los Altos Hills, California. Ryan Bird, San Jose, California. Daniel Bush, Denver, Colorado. Suloni Butala, Torrance, California. Christopher Cariello, Oceanside, New York. Valeria Carrillo, Paris, California. Taryn Carroll, Silverdale, Washington. Marisha Castillo, Honolulu, Hawaii. Adam Castorina, Redlands, California. Jared Caton, Oregon City, Oregon. Meg Chikarian, Los Angeles, California. Albert Chang, Fremont, California. Grace Chen, San Diego, California. Amanda Cheng, San Jose, California. Ann Cheng, Bellevue, Washington. Melissa Cheng, West Hills, California. Willie Chung, San Francisco, California. Lisa Chick, La Crescenta, California. Sophia Choi, Glendale, California. Peng Chu, Bellevue, Washington. Judith Chuang, Arcadia, California. Emily Cleveland, Brighton, Colorado.
Austin Coleman, Mountain Home, Idaho. Matthew Coleman, Happy Valley, Oregon. Andrew Comer, Placentia, California. Kevin Cosmo Bay, Great Lakes Area, North America. Sean Kuzwa, Chino Hills, California. Amanda Cowell, Chicago, Illinois. Zachary Kreitz, Sherwood, Oregon. Emily Curtin, Lake Arrowhead, California. Adrian Dang, Temple City, California. Christopher Dow, Yorba Linda, California. Lauren Davis, Dana Point, California. Derek Dang, Los Angeles, California. Lindsay Derringer, Fort Collins, Colorado. Kira Deal, La Jolla, California. Victoria Din, Irvine, California. Asia Doe, Fountain Valley, California. Grace Doe, Buena Park, California. Han Doe, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Sakshi Dulaney, Sammamish, Washington. Madeline Duncan, Billings, Montana. Kelly DeRay, San Diego, California. Holly Agnew, Tacoma, Washington. Wincata Isanacara, Frisco, Texas. Celia Evans, Mill Creek, Washington. Megan Evans, Davis, California. Samar Faki, Tigert, Oregon. William Fang, Temple City, California. Michael Farah, Pomona, California. Robin Faulkner, Spokane, Washington.
Christopher Fernandez, Yucatpa, California. Ariana Flores, Glendale, California. Mitchell Frame, San Diego, California. Olga Frias Borban, Stockton, California. Pearl Galido, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Sean Galka, Eugene, Oregon. Jinya Gao, Arcadia, California. Adam Garman, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Sophia Jo Gazikow, American Canyon, California. Eilish Gedstead, San Diego, California. Mabry Gentry, Vail, Colorado. Alan Gehring, Lebanon, Oregon. Caitlin Gassemi, San Diego, California. Annabelle Goulding, Fort Collins, Colorado. Hannah Graham, Enterprise, Oregon. Alyssa Greenberg, West Lynn, Oregon. Thomas Gwynn, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Alexandra Ha, San Diego, California. Maliaka Hall, Vancouver, Washington. Khalid Halwani, New York City, New York. Sevag Hamama, Glendale, California. Thomas Hastings, San Diego, California. Hannah Hahn, Sparks, Nevada. Shannon Henry, Hillsboro, Oregon. Nicolette Herbert, Fremont, California. Kasia Jara Hidalgo, Stockton, California. Victoria Hodsden, Santa Cruz, California. Peter Hong, Corvallis, Oregon. Benjamin Hopkins, Santa Ana, California.
Jackie Hu, Phoenix, Arizona. Jenny Huang, Boise, Idaho. Alvin Hue, Diamond Bar, California. Morgan Huey, Bellevue, Washington. Noshin Hussein, Chino Hills, California. Cortland Hutchison, Sherwood, Oregon. Ashley Huin, Salem, Oregon. James Huin, Long Beach, California. David Isle, Portland, Oregon. Derek Inoue, Torrance, California. Keiko Inoue, Vancouver, Washington. Yasmin Juhanmir, Irvine, California. Polly Jenkins, born Texas. Maxwell Jetty, Portland, Oregon. Elizabeth Jimenez, Southgate, California. Lipakshi Johar, Fremont, California. Vanna John, Rancho Cucamonga, California. Alexander Jones, Salem, Oregon. Marissa Jones, Kennebunk, Maine. Jayun June, Buena Park, California. Nafal Kumal, Rancho Cucamonga, California. Satara Kamali, Laguna Hills, California. John Kang, Irvine, California. Georgios Carnesis, Athens. Haig Carcian, Glendale, California. Taryn Kawashima, Honolulu, Hawaii. Kaylin K, Irvine, California. Sean Kazmi, Bakersfield, California. Alice 
Kessler, Daly City, California. Stephen Kyung, Fullerton, California. Sol Kytus, Greensboro, North Carolina. Boris Hanukayev, Corona, California. Christopher Kachadorian, Los Angeles, California. Elizabeth Kim, Naperville, Illinois. Miles Kim, Laguna Niguel, California. Aaliyah Knight, Ventura, California. Avis Co. Laguna Niguel, California. Daniel Co. Fullerton, California. Gabriel Cook, Tremont, Illinois. Vincent Kong, San Leandro, California. Stephanie Cristo, Santa Clara, California. Rebecca Kwan, San Diego, California. Cassandra Lai, San Francisco, California. Jennifer Lai, Palo Alto, California. Christina Lau, Irvine, California. Kenny Lamb, San Francisco, California. Yvonne Lamb, Los Angeles, California. Andreas Law, Foster City, California. Paige Lay, Glendale Heights, Illinois. Nia Lee, Portland, Oregon. Raymond Lay, Fremont, California. Edward Lee, La Crescenta, California. Ivan Lee, Milpitas, California. Rebecca Lee, Irvine, California. Michelle Lee, Laguna Niguel, California. Mimi Lee, Yun Lin, Taiwan. Trevor Link, 
North Stonington, Connecticut. Richard Lindsley, El Cerrito, California. Jeffrey Liu, Hacienda Heights, California. Joffrey Lowe, Walnut, California. Kendall Lucera, Billings, Montana. Mackenzie Lucero, Redlands, California. Bo Luan, Portland, Oregon. Vu Lu, Saigon, Vietnam. Deep T Mudon, La Crescenta, California. Sean Mahmood, Portland, Oregon. May Mukluf, Downey, California. Antonio Maldonado Liu, Portland, Oregon. Kevin Martin, San Diego, California. Lexi Martin, Yukaipa, California. Clarice Martinez de Castro, Portland, Oregon. Brianna Martisas, Wood Village, Oregon. Jillian Matthews, Moore Park, California. Abigail Matlock, Camden, Maine. Nicole May, Arvada, Colorado. Stephen Mayberry, Sierra Vista, Arizona. Jessica Marzi, Portland, Oregon. Catherine McCannis, Tualatin, Oregon. Cameron McCraw, Salem, Oregon. Alyssa McHugh, Klamath Falls, Oregon. Dylan McDonald, Forest Falls, California. Molly McMahon, Park City, Utah. Ashna Matha, Fremont, California. Riley Meister, Billings, Montana. Nadav Manashi, Portland, Oregon. Manya McDyson, 
Los Angeles, California. Sumita Mitra, La Cañada, California. Ritika Mohindra, Mission Viejo, California. Edward Morell, Puyallup, Washington. Akash Mundra, Poughkeepsie, New York. Shafi Munia, Montclair, California. Megana Munangi, Merced, California. Brandon Nading, Omaha, Nebraska. William Narinyan, Burbank, California. Uzma Nawaz, Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Anthony Nazarian, Glendale, California. Hazmik Nazarian, Los Angeles, California. Gabriel Nesbitt, Hawthorne, California. Anita Ng, Arcadia, California. Austin Nguyen, Irvine, California. Di Scott Nguyen, Oak Park, California. Kevin Nguyen, San Diego, California. Nicole Nguyen, Portland, Oregon. Tui Hong Nguyen, San Diego, California. Cameron O'Connell, Brea, California. Natalie Aldi, Monroe, Washington. Emily Ung, Federal Way, Washington. Raquel Orosa, San Jose, California. Lauren Corsillo, Sammamish, Washington. David Orija, Burbank, California. Samuel Pajuleras, Hercules, California. David Pack, Roland Heights, California. Jonathan Palacios, Westminster, California. Sophia Hardaway, Glendale, California. 
Dustin Parsons, Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Keishan Patel, Fullerton, California. Shivani Patel, Anaheim, California. Tabita Perez, Fullerton, California. Mark Perkins, Preston, Washington. Corina Pierce, Camino Island, Washington. Nicole Palladian, Glendale, California. Laura Ponce, Los Angeles, California. Alyssa Port, Stillwater, Minnesota. Victoria Prowitz Whiprood, Roseburg, Oregon. Violet Kwan, Las Vegas, Nevada. Amin Rahimi, Union City, California. Agith Raja, Emmett, California. Alex Rama, Marlboro, New Jersey. Rocio Ramirez, Pico Rivera, California. Lee Rane, Missoula, Montana. Jacob Reck, Burbank, California. Victoria Rimbolinska, Stoughton, Massachusetts. Daniel Resnick, Fountain Valley, California. Cassandra Ripley, Vancouver, Washington. Sarah Rothwell, Issaquah, Washington. Tiffany Ruiz, San Jose, California. Armin Sapa, Richmond, British Columbia, Canada. Adnan Sadrudin, San Juan Capistrano, California. Alaka Salimi, Coto de Casa, California. Michael San Angelo, Downey, California. Alyssa Sanchez, Fontana, California. Molly Schechter, San Diego, California. Natalia Shekachuhina, 
Cupertino, California. Hannah Schult, Wilsonville, Oregon. Nicholas Scrivens, Portland, Oregon. Sirit Seiko, Danville, California. Michelle Sendejas, Anaheim, California. Nay Shaw, San Diego, California. Anthony Shanazarian, Los Angeles, California. Mena Sharafeldeen, Anaheim, California. Shreya Sharma, San Jose, California. Daniela Sharp, Santiago, Chile. Akbar Sheikh, Fresno, California. Satare Shikarchi, Mission Viejo, California. Nima Shijapur, Westlake Village, California. Jennifer Shea, Arcadia, California. Hemin Shin, San Marcos, California. Nicole Sims, Sacramento, California. Laprit Singh, Brea, California. Rachel Sinnott, Beaverton, Oregon. Christina Sislian, Glendale, California. Nambard Sislian, Los Angeles, California. Stone Skate Root, Novato, California. Huxley Smart, Orcas Island, Washington. Kaylin Sugaki, Woodland, Washington. Jennifer Song, Los Angeles, California. Diwanshu Sony, Antelope, California. Madeline Stack, Portland, Oregon. Tatum Staffer, State College, Pennsylvania. William Stauffer, San Diego, California. Paul Stewart, Marina Valley, California. Christine Stull, 
Fullerton, California. Mary Swinton, Orinda, California. Katie Ta, San Diego, California. Tetevik Tamazian, Los Angeles, California. Raz Tamjidi, Los Angeles, California. Brian Tang, Anaheim, California. Ekaterina Tangog, Kaiserslautern, Germany. Hannah Taylor, Los Angeles, California. Madeline Tenna, Issaquah, Washington. Sean Thayer, Dolores, Colorado. Cole Thomas, Hillsboro, Oregon. Yong Tong, Pomona, California. David Thota, Santa Cruz, California. Chi Tian, San Ramon, California. William Tomita, Culver City, California. Jayanti Totlani, Harbor City, California. Michaela Trainer, Castle Rock, Colorado. Brittany Tran, Temple City, California. Daniel Tran, Yorba Linda, California. Daniel Wee Tran, Garden Grove, California. Pierre Tran, Tustin, California. Eric Trin, San Jose, California. Daniel Trin, Tigard, Oregon. Jeremy Trin, Pasadena, California. Mary Trumbull, Eagle, Idaho. Victor Trong, Huntington Beach, California. Gordon Say, Castro Valley, California. Druva Odeny, Sunnyvale, California. Luke Underwood, Fullerton, California.
Adrian Valenti, Spokane, Washington. Kiran Barani, Eugene, Oregon. Joshua Vasquez, Whittier, California. Calvin Vetter, Turner, Oregon. Sydney Villa, Fort Myers, Florida. Natalie Viegas, Oakland, California. Kim Vo, Alhambra, California. Rose Dam Bohumani, Mission Viejo, California. Brian Vu, Baldwin Park, California. Jessica Wallace, Portland, Oregon. Joshua Walters, San Diego, California. Anthony Wong, Diamond Bar, California. Derek Wong, South Pasadena, California. Kelly Wang, San Jose, California. Lee Wang, Arcadia, California. Hannah Ward, San Marcos, California. Morgan Wardle, Gold Beach, Oregon. Danielle Wiseman, Forest Hill, California. Aaron Williamson, Salem, Oregon. Jamie Wimmer, Medford, Oregon. Alexander Wong, Arcadia, California. Hoi Yan Wong, El Paso, Texas. Elizabeth Wright, Napa, California. Omne Yakub, Moore Park, California. Aram Yajia Zaryan, Los Angeles, California. Vivian Yu, Union City, California. Tanine Zadeh, Anaheim Hills, California. Clara Zachary, San Diego, California. Max Zazuli, Santa Monica, California.
Yin Wei Zhang, Runchung, China. Ming Zheng, Toronto, Canada. Congratulations, students. Let us now welcome the Vice Dean for the College of Osteopathic Medicine of the Pacific Northwest, Dr. John T. Pham. Congratulations, student doctors of the DO class of 2024. Y'all look so distinguished and fabulous in those white coats. Are you ready for the journey of be on becoming a physician? I'm sure you are. So please read along with me as you take your pledge of commitment. As I embark upon my studies at Western University of Health Sciences, I will enter into a relationship of mutual respect with my professors and my colleagues to enhance the learning environment and to gain the knowledge, skills, and attitudes of a com competent, compassionate healthcare professional. Accept responsibilities only for those matters for which I am competent. Maintain the trust expected of a healthcare professional and never take advantage of the relationship I have with patients. Show compassion and respect for all others. Set worthy examples in the application of humanistic principles in my relationships with my patients and others within the healthcare community. Work toward improving my sensitivity and skills in human interaction, understanding and respecting the differences among my patients and colleagues. Value the knowledge and wisdom of the healthcare professionals who have preceded me in the profession and endeavor to contribute to the humanistic tradition and philosophy. Recognize my weaknesses and strengths and strive to develop those qualities that will earn the respect of my patients, my colleagues, my family, and myself. Continue learning throughout all the days of my life. Congratulations, student doctors, class of 2024. Welcome to the Western U family. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome University Marshal and Professor Emeritus for the College of Osteopathic Medicine of the Pacific, graduate of the class of 1985, Dr. Alan D. Kundari. Hello, welcome. I'm sorry for that. That was a little technical glitch. Thank you, Dr. Crone, for the opportunity to say a few words. Let me give a special shout out because I understand that Mrs. Harriet Pomerantz may be watching and I'd like to give her a warm welcome as well. Just so that the students know that as a former teacher of this, of this university, that I do pay attention to what some of the students are doing. So Amin Rahimi, you need to practice putting your coat on a little bit better. Welcome to the entering class of 2024. Four years ago, I sat in the position you find yourself in presently. It was the pinnacle of my efforts to get to that point, and wow, it was an exciting moment. My aspirations, hopes, and dreams were sitting on the cusp of an unseen future, but I was excited and a bit anxious as I entered the next phase of my career. Start warp drive and never let up. My team, jobs, and education's point were a blip on the screen as I entered this new phase. So too, your development to get to this point has played a role in who and what you are and will become. You will be challenged, encouraged, sometimes nudged along in your team. You realize the energy of those who provided you the guidance, leadership, and friendship along the way. You were raised in an age of computers. We had books. You listen to sound bites of information and move along to the next thing. Things are really not much different today as they were then, even if the learning tools have become a bit more technical. Bottom line is still the same. You need to, for your patient's sake, take the time to listen, think, learn, and reflect on your progress. Your patients will thank you for it, 
No. They expect to do it. Knowledge, cures, and treatments may have changed the way we conduct medicine, but the physician who spends the time listening to their patient will fare much better in their treatment. I want to thank Drs. Matt Roundsville and C.D. Milligan of Albuquerque, New Mexico for those lessons that I learned very early in my career. This is a constant that does not change. Current global and national affairs have presented you with both challenges and opportunities. Yes, it is an unsettled time to be launching such an important chapter of your lives. You also find yourself in a unique position to invent, innovate, and above all, be leaders. Looking back at career and that first week of school is no different today than it was then. Turmoils abounded then as they do today. We also faced the development of a new disease and we had to put our energy into it, sometimes having to insist on social and political changes to get it done. But we managed to overcome it. So too, you and your career be faced with challenges. Embrace them. They will give you support as you develop your lifelong skills and the art of what we call medicine. Let me give you a quote from the Monkey King, Monkey King Journey into the West. As I have retired, I've learned how to use the YouTube, and I so I've been spending a lot of time looking at movies. A true teacher thinks only of what is best for his students. So too will your faculty and mentors rely on this belief. Draw on the knowledge of those who come before you. Rely on the support and guidance of those around you. And imagine all those fears of health care that you can possibly eat. I am thankful for the teachers and mentors I've had during my career. They developed and encouraged me and gave me wisdom. One particular piece of wisdom was pay it forward. It's amazing what a free meal can do for you when you are a poor, starving medical student. I want to thank Dr. Tom of Grand, Grand Junction, Colorado for that one. I am proud of where I come from and the reputation the school has developed over the years. Remember, I was in one of the first four classes of the university. I'm very proud of the students I've interacted with over the years. Many of them still have my personal cell number and cell I am an alumnus of the College of Osteopathic Medicine of the Pacific. I am out. I am also pleased to welcome you into this new endeavor. Congratulations, class of 2024. Thank you, Dr. Kandari. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Dean Paula Crone. What a special day. How can your hearts not be filled with joy looking at the faces of these students? Each year, I'm humbled by the bright and passionate young men and women who choose medicine as a career path. This year, a year like no other before it in our lifetimes, I've been particularly impressed by those in this class that arise into the occasion and facing the future with determination and fortitude. They could have chosen easier paths in life. They chose this instead. This year, our students represent the hope and promise of a better world for their future patients and their communities. Our faculty and staff are some of the hardest working and most dedicated individuals I know. It is an honor to serve with them. Students, congratulations on the placement of your white coats today and welcome to Comp and Comp Northwest. I wish you only the very best. Faculty and staff, it is my pleasure to present to you the Western U Comp and Comp Northwest class of 2024 and to officially declare for our college that our academic year is launched. Let's get to it. Thank you, everyone.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our white coat ceremony. Thank you for joining us. Please unmute your mics and if needed, switch to gallery mode. Take this time to celebrate with each other. Congrats, Congratulations, class of 2024. Bye. 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 Right, Okay, Oh, Christina, how cute. Hi, all the babies Where's and the dogs and the cats. Sounds great. Where's my dog? Hi, Dr. Parsa. Uh, Amy, congratulations. Love it. No, I don't. Oh, okay. Okay, everyone. Congratulations, everyone. Congrats, everybody. Good job, everybody. Have an awesome weekend. Oh, Miles has a little friend. So cute. Oh, you're your baby. Yeah. They can hear you, huh? Wow. <laughs> 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 See you guys. Thank you. Congrats, everybody. Thank you. So good. Yeah. Welcome, everybody. It's so great to see you all. Come on. Let's get to work. Yes. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations. Congratulations, Congratulations class of 2024. Great to see you all. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations, everybody. <laughs> Enjoy your life, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Bye. Congrats, oh. everyone. Get some sleep. You get it. Not much. <laughs> Congratulations, everybody. Yeah. Bye. 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 Who will be the last to leave? Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations. He won Zoom. Bye. Hi. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. Congratulations, everybody. Hi, <laughs> Dave. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Congratulations. Bye, everybody. Class of 2024. Bye, everybody. Congrats, Josh. Congratulations. Dr. Thrush is trying. Bye. Bye, Dr. Thrush. Bye. Congrats, everybody. Congrats. Bye-bye.